What's up, Rockets? I'm Charles Alvarez. And I'm Anthony Meister. And this is J Rocket TV. Our top story, the iconic Joskis building in Alamo Plaza is being rebuilt and will be reborn in a couple months as shops at River Center. After three years of construction, the 125-year-old building is ready to begin the next phase of its life as a new home of what will eventually be 50 new retail and restaurant establishments. Shops at River Center will feature a two-story H&M, an AMC 11 Megaplex with IMAX, and a Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville restaurant and should be opening in January. In tech news, Aftershocks just released her new wireless earphones called the Blues 2S. The Blues 2S is a remarkable alternative for active people and provides an exemplary listening experience for up to six hours. These headphones use bone conduction technology which achieves dynamic stereo sound to your cheekbones and travels up to your inner ears. Because the earbuds aren't worn over your ear, it allows the user to be aware of their surroundings. The Blues 2S also delivers significantly less sound leakage and notable resistance to sweat than its predecessor. The Blues 2S starts at $99. This past Monday was the 74th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. For more on this, here's Tristan Turner. On December 7, 1941, the Imperial Japanese Navy performed a surprise attack on the United States Naval Base at Pearl Harbor. Hundreds of Japanese fighter planes attacked the naval base near Honolulu, Hawaii. The conflict only lasted around two hours, but in that time, 20 American naval vessels, 8 enormous battleships, and nearly 200 airplanes were destroyed. Over 2,000 American soldiers and sailors were killed, with another 1,000 wounded. The day after the assault, President Franklin D. Roosevelt requested Congress for a declaration of war on Japan. With this, Japan's allies, Germany and Italy, also declared a war on the United States. With this attack, the U.S. entered into World War II. The United States was actively involved in the war in the European and Pacific theater for four years until the Japanese surrendered just weeks after the U.S. dropped atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This year marks the 74th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor bombings. You can still visit the USS Arizona today in Hawaii to pay your respects to those soldiers and sailors who lost their lives on that fateful day. And now here's Jessica and Malik with today's Word on the Street. Jessica, what's this week's Word on the Street? If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Viewer discretion is advised. My power would be to take every other power if they're like using it for like a bad reason. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Oh, to run fast, because I run track, so. To change it to anything, and anybody does. All right, Benton. Probably just to fly. Um, my superpower would be just to like make money appear anywhere because I want to be rich. Uh, most definitely uh, flight and uh, x-ray vision so I can see through stuff. Also, uh, I can make things appear like money and then like cars and stuff like that. One superpower. Uh, one? All right. You know why I'm here. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Uh, probably like <laughs> super speed so that way I don't have to drive. Cars kind of scare me. To grow, like, because you know my hands are small. I mean, my hands grow. It would definitely be flying, just because I've always been like a big flying person. You know, gonna join the Air Force whenever I get out of high school. Uh, the power to have whatever I want, just by thinking about it and snapping my fingers. Because why not? <laughs> any superpower, because I will have any superpower that I want at the moment, and just cause. Super speed. X-ray vision. Fly. <laughs> it would probably be super speed. That way I can have everything I want. If I want to get money, I could just run to a bank, take it, and then go. Teleportation so I can go back to Ohio to visit my old family and friends. Fly. To, to read people's minds. Uh, to fly so I don't got to walk nowhere. Fly away. My superpower would be mind control so I can actually pass the semester. Oh, to turn invisible so I can skip class. Mine would be uh, to run quick. Oh, I would be invisible so like, I can just go around slapping people upside the head. <laughs> if you'd have one superpower, what would it be and why? I would fly so I could go anywhere. I want to be a time machine so I could just go back in time. Super speed so I can never get catched. And that's all we have for today, Rockets. I'm Charles Alvarez. And I'm Anthony Meister. And this has been J Rocket TV. For more of our content, go to youtube.com slash JRocketTV.